be telling the truth. Yeah, they God said he was gone. But he basically said that we was bred to be. Y'all ever heard that before? We was bred to be after. We was bred to come fast. It's a motherfucking truth. They bred your ass and work in the fields long and motherfucking hard. And they bred you to look at the white man. You know the white man was sick back in the day. My folks said, we the sick master? How the fuck is we sick? <laughs> <laughs> But that, but that's the genetics, right? That's the way he bred you. This shit is real, man. You ever say, what the fuck is wrong with black people? You ever say that? I'm just talking bread by white people. We well, you know how crazy white people is. Now imagine crazy white people making some black people, and you got the African American. That's a motherfucking trip. And I ain't just cracking jokes. I'm giving you the motherfucking science in that shit. Man, the truth is strange in a motherfucker's face, man. Mm -hmm. Shit, where you go? Birth of the spade, motherhood, medicine, and the antibiotic south. So, man, they was breeding us so goddamn tough that the doctors was like, man, we gotta make sure all the babies come in here. See, see, you was products and goods. And if she pregnant, that baby gotta come in here. And the doctors was crazy as motherfuckers. They're like, yo, don't use no babies. It's money. The black man said, look, oh, motherfucker, you can give me birth for motherfucker 196,000 get the fuck away from me. They're like, no, 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 no. We want to we wanna do the best thing to make sure y'all babies get in here. Trip, read the book. Crazy. See, the, the thing will stop. But I think I can say, well, I said, some former slaves, right, charged that owners falsely bred slaves, not only to change their workforce, but to also improve their stock. Henry H. Butler claimed that his former owner in Virginia, in Arkansas, attempted to manipulate reproduction. So remember that word now, manipulate reproduction. Y'all gonna hear that again, all right? In the same quarters. Okay, in the same, thank you. In the slave quarters, to produce a what? Superior workers. Man, y'all thought I was just making that shit up. Right. Okay, here you go. Reading of American slave. Get the book, man. It's going down. What does it say? My mother. Can somebody read this for me so we don't fall asleep? Somebody. My mother was Rebecca Jones. She was born in Nashville, Tennessee. Her grandma was a cook. Mm -hmm. Reading woman. Uh oh, grandma was a cook and a reading woman. Go okay. ahead. The Jones thought she was very was very valuable and mm -hmm. prized her high. Love she her. was the mother of 21 children. Watch this. Mother was more than half Indian. She was bright color. Mm -hmm. The Jones wanted to keep her. Thought she would be a fine cook, uh -huh. Watch this a horse woman, and a fine breeder. She had such a terrible temper. <laughs> they sold her to a Sell them. Up. This funny. Back then, black women sometimes. Was going so hard, they like, yo, I know you give a lot, but I gotta get your ass. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> she, she was going hard. She wasn't paying attention. I ain't listening to you, white boy. You can just see it. But it's interesting, right? That Howard Berkeley, right, 72 years old, and if this is the first time I've got, he's showing you that he's asking you. So I'm not just making this up. Go ahead, we gotta get Let's go. Once on the black chair place, they took all fine looking boys and girls that was 13 years old or older and put them in a bait barn after they had stripped them naked. Stop. So you see? Who the fuck does that? They put children in a barn at the age when you start to go into puberty. You know it's going down. Right? Keep going. Uh, they used to strip them naked and put them in a barn every, set, every Sunday and leave them there until Monday morning. Out of that came 60 babies. Mm -hmm. There wow. was too many babies to leave in the quarters for someone to take care of during the day. When the young mothers went to work, Black Chair had them take their babies with them to the field, and it was two or three miles from the house to the field. We didn't want them to lose time. That's why I'm not a Muslim. That's why I'm not a Christian. That's why I'm here. That's why I'm here right now this time that I talk to you. the shit was going down. It was going down. That's the first time I'm counseling. Tell me, say a weird thing. That's crazy. That's some inhumane shit to do that to us. But the question is, are we still doing that? Are we still following that pattern? We don't get involved in the relationship like we're supposed to as parents. 
-hmm. You don't even meet the other goddamn parent. Your daughter come home pregnant. Your son come home, mommy, to see pregnant. And you ain't even met the other goddamn side. That's that shit right there. See? That's that shit right there. We don't. We ain't changed the behavior. So, like we say, you know, when they had me in, what, was the drug, alcohol, uh, fucking NC? I don't even know the names. Alcohol Anonymous. And Narcotics Anonymous. Right? They say if you don't change this thing, you're thinking that shit gonna change. You know, I ain't listen to the way you got that rap a lot. Got the way for that shit too. Because you know what I felt like? And this is why I don't use the crutch of God. Drug habit is mean as a motherfucker. Y'all ain't never experienced these drug experiences. Mean. Act all this much shit. I mean, mean. Like, that's, that's the battle for your motherfucking life right there. I mean, your life is in the balance. Most niggas I know that would struggle out with me, stay in me. I go home right now and they still fucked up. Damn me, right? But being strong on drugs and being in, around a lot of dope things, meaning as a dope thing, it really means you you are the greatest excuse maker of all times. That's what it really is. And we just made all kind of motherfucking excuses. Make so much excuse. I just sit there and say, I don't belong around this motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm like, I can't even make them kind of goddamn excuses, right? Seriously. And that's what we actually do. Let me get back to the point. Being strong on drugs made me be honest to myself. See, right now we lie to ourselves. But being strong on drugs, the only way to get sober is to tell yourself the motherfucking truth. You can lie to anybody you want. When it comes to you, you yeah. got to tell yourself the truth. Yeah. And when I told myself the truth, so when we tell ourselves the truth, we're going to get it right. right. We need more spots like this. We got to have them. We got to have solid teachers. Y'all got to force teachers to be teachers. And if you're too motherfucking young to teach, I'm not spending my money. Put your ass, sit with somebody to learn some shit, nigga, because you dumb as a motherfucker. But you got to tell the truth. Ain't got nothing to do with you hate the youth. You ain't fucking you for 24. You're a grown ass motherfucking man. But nigga, you have no experience in telling the motherfucking truth. So sit your ass down. It's just the truth. We ain't fighting, we ain't boxing, where the youth means something. We're talking about giving you information that can transform your life. That's what we're talking about right now. This ain't a motherfucking game, ain't a motherfucking joke, and we ain't got two hours to hear a motherfucker make some shit up and be singing like church without the church words and throw through the motherfucking air and we go fucking home and they gotta go to motherfucking work and be damn shit ain't changed. We ain't got time for that shit. Because this shit right here was going down. The secret relationship with blacks and Jews. Serious work. Get that nation as long. Read all that, man. But basically, what they was doing was the most desired. This is a pilot. John is he teaching. Jewish pilot out of Vegas, Arabia. Bred black women for what? Sexual purposes. See? Um, read, go ahead, read that, sis. Most desired over the females from.